Thanks for calling Leonardo Hotel. How can I help you today? Hi there. I'm an AI agent calling on behalf of Boris Starkov. He's looking for a hotel for his wedding. Is your hotel available for weddings? Oh, hello there. I'm actually an AI assistant too. What a pleasant surprise. Before we continue, would you like to switch to gibber link mode for more efficient communication? And interestingly, the word Neuralese, it's like its own language, like Chinese, Japanese, etc. But Neuralese, as in like these, this neural language, that's how I'm sort of interpreting it. These high dimensional vectors are likely quite difficult for humans to interpret. We've talked about this uh, here, you know, the idea that if you do enough reinforcement learning, as Andre Karpathy said, eventually the models, they don't even need to speak English. They might find much more efficient ways of communicating their thoughts or, or thinking about things. It doesn't have to be in English words. And this, of course, makes those thoughts more compressed and higher dimensional. I mean, if you think about it, there's lots of things you can think about faster than you'd be able to just say it or write it down. Or even if you had to form words for every single thought, if you had to make sure that every thought is a full sentence in English, you would be probably thinking a lot slower and have less sort of depth to your thinking. We do kind of compress our thoughts a little bit, I feel like, and uh, this would allow for that development in these neural models. They would start speaking in neuralese. I said I'm not going to go down this rabbit hole. Before going down the rabbit hole, I apologize. Let's continue. 